back. So today we're going to be working on Eureka Module 5 Lesson 2. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, our objective today is we are going to add and subtract multiples of 100, including counting on to subtract. So we're still going to be working with 100s today. Materials needed. Today you are going to need a place value mat. You will also need those place value chips. They will come in handy and you will also need a whiteboard and marker. I will also be demonstrating using hidden number cards, so you're going to see that, but if you have them, go ahead and pull those out and we can use those too. All right, so let's go. So today we're gonna to start with our application problem. So let's go ahead and read it. Max has 42 marbles in his marble bag after he added 20 marbles at noon. How many marbles did he have before for noon. So Max has 42 marbles in his bag now, but he added some at noon. We wanted to know how many he had before noon. So how many marbles did he start with? So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and use a number bond. Now I know that we have 42 marbles now, but we want to be able to find a part of that. Also, if you like working with tape diagrams, I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. So you could see that we have 42 as the whole, and then for the parts, we have 20 and a question mark because we're trying to solve for a part. Same with our number bond, 20 and a question mark. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. When I have the whole and I have one part, if I use subtraction, I can find the other part. So sometimes if you're not comfortable working with subtraction, you can also work with addition. Now I can do this in my head, 42 take away 20, but let me just show you another strategy. So this strategy right here has us using 20. We're gonna start at 20 and we're gonna use an arrow way to count up to 42. So if I start at 20, how can I get to the next friendly number? Well, if I'm looking at my arrow way, I can add 10, but I can also just add 20. So if I add 20, I know that that gets me to 40. And then how many more do I need to get to 42? I just need two more. So my answer is 42, but I'm not quite done yet. I have to look at these numbers right here, my 20 and two. That is going to go ahead and give me my answer. 22 marbles. So it says Max has 22 marbles before noon. So do you see how I added 20 plus two? So there it is, 22. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our concept today. Okay, so here's our concept. We have a number here and the question is, how many do you see? Well, I have 100, two tens, and five ones. So Let's go ahead and identify those. We're going to write the unit on the bottom, 100, 2 tens, and 5 ones. So let's go ahead and show you your place value cards. When you have 100, 2 tens, and 5 ones, it looks like this. And watch and see what's going to happen when I take them apart. You could see my 5 is in the ones place. And then when I have that 2 in the tens place, it's not a 2. It represents a 20. And then I have 100. So all together, it's 100, 20, and 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's switch out our 100 card and let's make it a 300. So now I have this new number, 300, 20, and 5. How am I going to show that on my place value chart? Well, to show that on my place value chart, I would add two more place value chips. I would add two more hundreds. And to change my unit, I would put three hundreds. So now I have three hundreds. And if I put them together, it looks like this, 325. So you saw when we expanded the number, it was 320 and five. And then when we put it all together, it's 325. But remember, when the two is in the tens place, it represents 20. When the three is in the hundreds place, it represents 300. Okay, let's try another one. Now, I started with 325 right here, so let's add two more hundreds. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's my two hundreds, and here are my units, five hundreds, two tens, and five ones. Let's go ahead and change our hidden number cards. So my five is coming down, my 20 is coming down, and those are going to stay the same, but I'm going to change out my place value card 
to 500. So now if I put them together, it's going to equal 525. And now it matches our place value chart. So we started with 325 and we added 200. So what is 325 plus 200? Well, we just did that right now. It's 525, just like our chart showed us. So let's go ahead and start with this number right here, 450. We're going to do something with that number. And it says, what if I asked you to add three hundreds to 450? Well, if I asked you to add three hundreds to 450, you can do this with mental math. Mental math is awesome. If you are great at it, awesome. You can use that. Another way you can do this is with an arrow way. If you like using arrow ways, use an arrow way. Get any piece of paper that you have by you and use that arrow way to solve a problem. So right now I'm going to show you how to use an arrow way. And remember, sometimes it's great to know two or even three strategies if you have to check your work. So if I have 450 and I want to add 300, well, there's my arrow that says to add 300 and I have 750. My tens don't change, my ones don't change, only my hundreds change. Okay, so there is also another way. You can also use a number bond. So let me show you what a number bond looks like. I have 450 plus 300. I can break apart my 450. 450 is 50 and 400. Now I put my 400 on that side because it's closer to the other 100 that I'm going to add. Because remember when we add our numbers that are alike, it's nice to bundle them together. So what is 400 plus 300? That equals 700, but I'm not done yet. I still need to add the 50. I can't stop there. So let's go ahead and add 700 plus 50, and that equals 750. So if you use the mental math strategy, if you use the arrow way, or if you use the number bond, those are all great strategies to use. Okay, let's take a look at our next problem. We have 147, and what if I asked you to add 200s to 147? Again, you can use mental math and you can also use an arrow way. So I have 147 and I'm going to add 200 and that is equal to 347. Now let's go ahead and see what a number bond looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and write my number sentence, 147 plus 200. And remember when I break apart my numbers, I'm gonna take out my hundreds and I'm going to put my tens and ones together. So now I'm going to add my hundreds together. I have 100 plus 200, and that is equal to 300. And then I'm going to add that 47 because I can't forget about that number when I broke it apart. I've got to put the numbers back together. So 300 plus 47 is equal to 347. So I have another problem here and it says, what if I asked you to add 516 to 400? Well, I can start with 516 and I can use my mental math strategy, and I can also use the arrow way. So 516, let's go ahead and show you how to do this with the arrow way, and we're going to add 400. So there's the arrow saying to add 400, and that is 916. Now remember, I'm also going to show you a number bond. So our number bond, we can break apart the 516 after we write our number sentence. So let's go ahead and break that apart. It's 16 and 500. Let's add our hundreds together. So we have 500 plus 400, and that equals 900. And then we're going to add the rest of it together. So 900 plus 16 is equal to 916. Okay, let's take a look at another problem. I have my place value chart here, and what number do you see? Well, right now I see seven hundreds, I see two tens, and I see five ones. So I see 725. So I see seven hundreds, two tens, and five ones. So that's 725. Remember, let's go ahead and break this number apart. So I'm taking out my ones and it looks like that. I'm taking out my tens and let's see what happens if I have to erase two hundreds. Well, first I'm going to do it on my place value chart. So goodbye hundreds, and now let's change my card. And my card says I now have 
five hundreds left. So the number sentence is 725 take away 200 is equal to 525. Let's go ahead and erase two more hundreds. So there they go. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our card to match. So now instead of five hundreds, I have three hundreds because I took two hundreds away. So let's go ahead and put our number together now. So I have 320, but let's not forget about those ones. And now I have 325. So if I'm going to write that with a number sentence, that would be 525 take away 200 is equal to 325. And just to remind you, the tens don't change, the ones don't change. When you're adding or subtracting a hundred, only the hundreds change. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this problem right here. Let's subtract three hundreds from 582. Again, we can use mental math if we want to, and we can also use an arrow way, and we can also use a number bond. So we have 300 plus 582. Now I wrote this a different way, and the reason why I wrote this a different way is because sometimes when you use an arrow way, you can count up. You can start at 300, and then you can use an arrow way to get to 582. So let's start at 300. And let's see, what do we need to get to another friendly number that's close to 582? Well, if I do it 100 at a time, I can go to 100, and that'll give me 400. I'm not at 500 yet, so I need to get to 500. So I'm going to add another 100, and now I'm at 500. So what should I do to get to 582? Well, I'm going to just go ahead and add 82, because now that I have my hundreds, I know that I just need 82 ones. So that's equal to 582. So let's look at these numbers here. When I made my arrow way, I added 100, I added 100 more, and I added 82 more. So when I add those together, 100, 182, that's equal to 100, 200, 82. So that means when I'm making my arrow way, if I'm finding the missing add end, it would be 300 plus 282 is equal to 582. Okay, let's see what a number bond looks like. So I have 582 take away 300. So I'm going to go ahead and break apart that 582, and that's going to be 82 and 500. Now, I'm going to go ahead and circle the numbers that are alike, 500 and 300, but let's remember the rule. The rule is subtraction, not addition. So 500 take away 300 is equal to 200. Now, even though this is a subtraction problem, we are not going to subtract the last part. And the reason why is because this whole problem says minus 300. We already subtracted 300, so we do not need to subtract any more. But what I need to do is I need to get that 82 back. We can't just ignore that number. So what I need to do is I need to do 200 plus 82, and that's equal to 282. So that's how I get the answer there. So it doesn't matter which way you get the answer. If you like to use mental math, use mental math. If you need to use an arrow way, use an arrow way. If you like to use a number bond, use a number bond. If you like to use a standard algorithm, you can do that too. But when you're subtracting across zeros, it can get a little tricky. So find your favorite strategy. And the main message of this lesson is you do you. You find what you like and you solve these problems the way that you like to do them. Every brain is different and people look at numbers different ways. So whichever strategy you are comfortable with, that is the strategy that you use. And that's it. So uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me and let me know and we'll go ahead and answer those. And let's go ahead and practice some seesaw assignments. Okay, this problem set is straight out of your workbook today. So it says solve each addition problem using place value strategies. Use the arrow way or mental math 
and record your answers. You may use scrap paper if you like. So that means if you need to jot it down on a piece of paper, math is messy. Get that piece of paper and write it down. If you have a whiteboard at home, use that whiteboard to solve these problems. And then I want you to put those answers right here. Now, this problem set focuses on addition. And on your next slide, let's focus on the ones that have subtraction. So this is number two in your problem set. and all of these problems are subtraction, so make sure you don't get them mixed up. And that's it for today. So we'll see you later and have fun doing your math. Bye.